So, in this video, we're looking at two of the most basic torque questions. Um, the first one is when you have a horizontal beam and a mass suspended from the end of it. So this is beam is horizontal, I'll make a right angle right there. Um, for any of these sort of torque questions, if we're in rotational equilibrium, the thing we have to start with here is the sum of the torques is equal to zero. So if we look at our forces that we have on here, we have to assign them as clockwise or counterclockwise torques. The force of gravity acts in the center of the beam, and it creates a clockwise torque. The force of gravity out here on the suspended mass creates a clockwise torque. The tension force, on the other hand, will create a counterclockwise torque. So we can say the sum of our torques clockwise will equal the sum of our torques counterclockwise. So for this system that's drawn here, it's going to be the torque of the beam plus the torque of the mass will equal the torque of Ft. So that's our starting point for this system. Um, for every element, we have to remember that torque is equal to our perpendicular force times, sorry, our perpendicular force times the distance, and the distance is going to be from the pivot point to where the force is acting. So our pivot point is going to be over here. So for this particular question, the torque of our beam, so the beam is 17 kilograms, so 17 times 9.8, that's the force of gravity on the beam. That force acts at half the beam's length, so 4.2 over 2. That force is already at right angles, so we don't need to do any adjustment to its angle. The mass hanging off the end is 75 kilograms times 9.8. And I'm going to have to change colors, uh, times 9.8 times the full 4.2 meters. And that's going to be balanced by, all that's going to be balanced by the torque of the tension force. Um, this question is missing a, a distance number here, so let's make this number 1.5 meters from the end. So Ft times... 4.2 times, sorry, 4.2 minus 1.5 times sine of 28. Because this here will represent our perpendicular component of Ft, and that's the opposite to that angle. So when we go to solve for Ft, um, we go 17 times 9.8 times 4.2 over 2 plus 75 times 9.8 times 4.2. We're going to divide that by 4.2 minus 1.5 times sine 28, and we get a tension force that equals 2.7 times 10 to the third newtons. And there you can see the entire solution.